Hi, I'm Jason Boone, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily create captions in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll go over the difference between closed and open captions, show you how to add text, apply formatting, and export the caption information. So let's get started. So I have a short eight second clip from an interview and we're gonna add captions to this clip. Now let's go ahead and listen to what we have here. It's an artist talking about his art. I want any person who wants to, to have the benefit of, of creation and, and making art. Okay, so again, this is an eight second clip. We're gonna add captions. Looks like there's about three sections here that we could probably break this up to to add captions. So if we go over here to the new item button in the project panel, select captions. And it's going to default the video settings to whatever sequence you have open. You can manually change any of this information if you need to. Now under standard here for new captions, you're going to have four options, three of which are closed captions. Now the difference between closed and open captions is simply the fact that with closed captions, you can turn them on and off when you're watching them in your monitor, whether you're watching it on a television or whether you're watching it on a YouTube, you'll be able to turn it off and on. Whereas open captions are subtitles that stay on screen. You cannot turn them off. So let's go ahead and select 708. And with stream, this is if you want to create different languages for people to choose from, you can put them in different streams. Click OK. And it's going to create a video file, a captions video file. And we'll go ahead and rename this closed captions. And now if you drag this down into a video track, You'll see now that's our caption file. And you'll notice you can't see anything on the program monitor. Well, what you have to do is enable the closed caption for the program monitor. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me resize this. If you go into the settings section here, you'll see closed caption display, simply enable that. And if here we can see the captions. And if you can't see the captions, you may need to change the settings here and select the specific type that we've selected. Click on captions here. It's going to show in our captions panel the information here. And if you can't see this, simply go to Window and select Captions. What we have here is a text box to put our captions in, in and out points, some formatting options, and we can even change the type of caption, whether we want it to roll up in two to four lines, paint on, pop on. I'll leave this in the default settings. So now let's listen to our clip. Let's listen to just the first section up until about three seconds, 10 frames. I want any person who wants to, to have the best. Okay, so let's go ahead and type that information in. Let's listen to it one more time. I want any person who wants to, to have. I want any person that wants to, to have. And again, that ends at three seconds, 10 frames. So I'm gonna type in the out point. We can drag this out now. This will go to three, three seconds, 10 frames. I want any person who wants to, to have. Oh, who wants to? If we click, whoops, I want any person who wants to. Man, my grammar is off. Okay, so we have our first caption text box there. Now, what we want to do is we want to create another section here. Let's see what he says. The benefit of. So we'll create the benefit of. Now to do this, to create another text box, you simply go down here and hit the plus sign. And we're gonna see where this ends. Let's say four seconds, 20 frames. So that we can manually type that in. The benefit of. And our third section. Of creation and, and making art. Of creation and making art. Of creation and making art period. Now let's see where this ends. It ends at about uh, seven seconds, 21 frames or 20 frames. So I'm going to type that in in our last box here. Okay. Now we simply drag our caption video file out and the caption should be all good in there. Now I'm going to full screen this and let's have a look. I want any person who wants to, to have the benefit of, of creation and, and making art. Okay, that's great. Now if we look in here again, again, I can change the formatting of any of this, but I'm gonna leave the default set up here. Now when we go to export this, if you look in our export 
dialog box, there's a captions tab here. Now there's a couple of different options. We can create a sidecar file or we can burn the captions into the video. Now again, burning the captions in is going to basically be like subtitles. It's going to be where you can't turn it off. And now if we're going to create a sidecar file, when we export it, it's going to create a standalone file. And I've already exported both of these, so let's take a quick look. And you can see here, we have our burn in. I want any person who wants to, to have the benefit of, of creation and, and making art. And then here's our sidecar file. There's I want any no person burn in. who wants to, to have. But we have an, a .scc file. Now to use this, if let's say you were uploading your video to YouTube, there's a section for subtitles and captions that would allow you to upload this SCC file. And then when people watch your video, they can simply turn on and off the caption files. So that's closed caption. Let me show you quickly open captions. So if we drop this into captions, I've already created the open caption file. So let's delete our closed caption and drop in our open. And the only difference between the two, there's some formatting differences. You see here with open captions, I can adjust the font and I can adjust the size. There's a little bit more of a leverage here. But what I would recommend if you're creating open captions, create your first text box and then create all your formatting because then when you start to create additional text boxes, it's just gonna keep that formatting. And also, if we enlarge our video track, you'll be able to actually see the caption information here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality royalty free music and sound effects for your media and video projects.